Hello everyone! Welcome to my sanctuary. I am Cristela with Love and Light. I will be sending a message from the universe. Today's topic is about your children. You know, what are their qualities? How many kids are you gonna have in the future? Especially if you want one. Or maybe you're just bored and you want to know. <laughs> you want to see a sneak peek of your future. Then you're in the right place. Please remember that this is a general reading. So uh, take in what only resonates. Um, if it doesn't, then let it fly. This is an exciting episode. And uh, this is all gonna be a timeless reading. So you can watch it anytime you want okay now before we start let's ask for a blessing divine love and light please help me receive and understand the messages of the cards clearly for the highest good of all i give thanks and gratitude for your guidance and protection okay so uh, i want you to look at this pile of cards and choose which one of them which coin do you want do you want this only one coin, two coins, or three coins. Okay, so so that the reading will be grouped. The one that will draw you in the most, you should pick that. Make sure to trust your gut feeling. Close your eyes, meditate. Make sure to pick something that attracts you the most so that the messages will come in clearly. Okay, let's start. So, if you pick the single coin, you guys, you are group 1. We'll put it here. Yeah. Okay, group 1. Your future children. Okay. Let's see what else appears in the universe today. Wow. Okay, next. Wait, <laughs> I'm just gonna shuffle details about your future children or child. How many, how does he or she look like? Another one. Okay, so we got all these cards, they appeared, this will be about your future children, probably details, sex, um, anything about them. We got two cards and the suit of wands, so maybe they are fire sign, okay. Your kid or your kids will be very passionate so we got here four of ones and we got six of ones so probably you're gonna have four to six children maybe you want a lot of children so we got four and six i believe you will have your child by summer or maybe at noon time most likely you know the birth or the delivery of your child uh, regardless if you're male or female we're talking about here your children okay so we got i think you're gonna have a boy maybe two boys maybe one girl and i can see that they are all achievers you know we got here this is a card about a milestone so you know really this cards they radiate valedictorian and cum laude energy so most likely your child is always going to be on top of the ranking in their school and their work like 
really. So this card is about celebration, right? So maybe it's a miracle baby, one of yours, or maybe just one of yours. Uh, maybe they're also gonna be born on a holiday, you know? And yeah, they're gonna be very blessed in their intelligence. You can see that they're very rational, sensible, and here, this card is all about achievement. Again, celebration, recognition to the public. I can tell that maybe they like being in front of other people, they're sociable, and maybe they like, uh, you know, they're part of an organization, they're the president or something, or there's someone who really, you know, people look up to them because they have this charisma that they radiate you're gonna be really proud of them uh, you're gonna be with them but like they're very independent actually so they're very mature for their age and yeah they're gonna be wonderful children that you're gonna be proud of you know so we got here, Goddess Hathor, receptivity, it says, allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, your energy, and ability to give to others. So I can tell that they're very giving. You know, as, as I've said before, they have a lot of charisma. They are great listeners. They have a lot of energy. They're really, you know, one of those extroverted people, I think. Um yeah also i guess if you're like wanting to have a baby um then take this advice you know allow yourself to receive and uh, make sure to um, sharpen your intuition maybe give back to others so that you will be blessed this time of the year with the child you're gonna be proud of <laughs> So we also got here Irene the goddess of peace oh my god this card alone tells us that you're gonna have children maybe your firstborn is a boy maybe they also like the sea you know they like beaches they like waters oceans uh, they're attracted to it um, this tells me um, of abundance you're really going to have, if you want to have a lot of children, you're going to have it. It says here that there is no need to worry and everything is working out beautifully. So if you're like hopeless about not having children, then this card confirms that you will have a child. And not even just one, you will be blessed by many if you want to, of course, that's your choice. Because this card is also abundance and then peace um, by being receptive you know you will attain that inner peace because I can tell that there's a little bit of worry inside you uh, maybe you have worries about being a good father or mother maybe you're not gonna be great at it maybe you're a little bit broken inside that you're not capable of of you know raising a child your kid but know that you will be great at it and your children are very blessed they're gonna be mature gonna be independent and um, there's somebody you can be proud of okay so we also got here a message it says here look at that achievement and success your child are very successful you guys it says achievement is getting what you want so success is being happy with what you've got so this is a heartwarming message like you think you're gonna be happy with your children with your child uh, you're gonna celebrate their achievements no I think that by being receptive and being happy with what you've got that will really seal the deal you know of having the this wonderful future with them okay so 
yeah we got here a little more cute messages from the universe maybe we can know more about them not only their gender and but like details about them initials so we got here okay we got here the letter c e b b again <laughs> have k okay see it's all about celebration i think you're gonna be really happy when like you you gave birth or overall their life um their life achievements you know from the start they were born until they got older you're gonna be very happy for them so skip the ordinary wow so i think to achieve success you're gonna be extraordinary got here love wow that's nice because you know uh you've heard of, you've heard about it with p new parents that saying that when they met their child they realize a different kind of love so you got here keep smiling so yeah you don't need to worry about as i've said here everything is working out beautifully so we got here as a mood sea never made a skilled sailor so your children are gonna face hardships you know but they will have victory at the end and they will be very skilled just make sure that you'll be there you will be there for them whenever they need you have here it says sorry yesterday was the deadline for all complaints yeah so this is related to like the achievement and success they're very productive and like maybe this is also a message for you that you know you have to keep moving you have to go go on with your life uh so that you can make a wonderful life for your children so yeah this is a wonderful reading you guys um i'm so glad and uh i hope that your children is as what the universe told us today so um thank you for watching make sure to subscribe see you again bye hello so if you pick these two coins okay you are group two this will be a reading okay so let's ask so let's ask the universe about your future children what can you tell us about group two's children I got one. Not. Uh, other details about your future children. Okay, another detail. What can you tell us? Another detail. What can you tell us? Oh! So it jumped out. Okay, let's go at them one by one. We got Eight of Pentacles and Seven of Pentacles. So these are earth signs also i can feel a lot of feminine energy so most likely your kid is gonna be a girl they may be taurus virgo or capricorn because it's pentacles it's an earth sign so i can tell that your child is gonna be very artistic you know very diligent very productive um you know very persistent I can also see that 
she likes uh, isolation you know she likes being alone she thrives in being alone um, she's maybe introverted however she's very very skilled artistic and um, she's also very smart intelligent you know as the books imply but most importantly I can tell that she's very artistic um, this tells me that maybe your kid is um, a surprise to you maybe you didn't plan on having this kid this child maybe for some of you it's an early pregnancy teenage pregnancy or maybe not teenage but like um early 20s you know yeah you're gonna be very proud of this child although she is very quiet most likely oh <laughs> this is i said quiet i also got here it says quiet time so yeah i really can tell that she likes you know doing something alone mm, she prefers working alone and it says here to take some quiet time alone to rest meditate and contemplate also maybe your child is also very intuitive you know maybe she has a bit of psychic ability she likes to meditate journal things like that now we got here another baby card oh my god this is actually a great you know reading because so far we all have babies in our readings this is the second one we got here mother mary expect a miracle so yeah your baby is gonna be really a surprise a miracle and mother mary i so far i've known uh that women who wants to get pregnant like really prays for her it says here to have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered so yeah if you've always wanted to have a child then this is a confirmation a blessing will come to you regardless of what what age are you gonna have a kid so also maybe you're gonna have a kid on winter um and maybe at night your baby is gonna be born at night or on winter also got here the message it says can you read it's not focus it says here may you attract someone uh who speaks your language oh my god you can see it yeah so you don't have to spend a lifetime translating your soul Ah, so since this kid is very intuitive you know she's more of a listener an observer rather than you know a talker um you really have a deep connection with this child you know uh she understands you very deeply unlike anybody else like you're really soulmates you know how how there's a theory that all of your family are your soulmates like they're a piece of you and this child is gonna be a big piece of you so yeah here let's ask for more what are their initials uh, another quality your baby by the way I think you're gonna have one child only it's most likely that you're gonna have a one child okay oh, look at this success isn't it great there will be success for your child oh love this is the second time disappeared so you know how parents realize a different kind of love when they met their children for the very first time gonna be that you know the love for children family so we got here the letters initials maybe this is oh my god this heart emoji fell so yeah you're gonna be very in love with your child like they mean everything to you are also also got a 
I got Q. Yeah. Wow. It says today is the day. Maybe, <laughs> maybe today you're gonna. <laughs> today is the conception. Or maybe the date you're watching right now is gonna be also the date that you will have a child, but like uh, in the next few years, okay? It says here to believe in yourself, also be you, okay? Your child is very, um, I think she has confident issues, you know, insecurity issues, but like be there for your child. Uh, comfort them make the raise their confidence you know says forever oh also got here spontaneity is the best kind of adventure teach them to be spontaneous rather than uh, you know spending time alone yeah explore they like exploring things also on their own maybe they like reading um, yeah, so that was your future child, you guys. So I hope you like this reading. Uh, thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Bye. Hi, so if you pick three coins, you are group three. This is gonna be your reading. Okay. Oh. So let's ask. Group 3's future children. What can you tell us about group 3's future children? So we got here two cards that flipped. Okay. We got reversals, but don't be scared of reversals. Okay. Another detail about your future child wow can you see Another one, a short message. Okay, we got here. Okay, let's go with them one by one. So you got here, you know, maybe your baby is gonna be born at night. You know, since we got here, night and the moon so we got here eight of wands and number 18 um, but because it is in reverse this can mean delay and frustrations some of you it will take a long time to like for ha to have a kid uh, but even if it's long it's a long time like it's not always bad that means you can Take your time to prepare, um, get ready, and know all the facts before the baby comes, you know? Um, here, um, I can tell that your kid li likes to take it easy, you know? Also, <laughs> this is kind of weird, but like your kid maybe experiences insomnia, like when he or she becomes a teenager um, he will have trouble sleeping or maybe even if it's just a baby like you will have a difficulty to sleep also because your children will always because your child will always cry you know it's gonna be difficult for you you will have that sleepless night and also for some of you, it's gonna be a difficult pregnancy for the women. You know? Hopefully, hopefully, um, you're not gonna be in danger because sometimes this card speaks of danger, but like, 
it's gonna be difficult for some of you the pregnancy itself and yeah maybe they are born at night maybe midnight also by the way your child won't like you know won't like secrets and mysteries they don't like surprises they are all knowing you know they like to get their facts straight they're very inquisitive so pre be prepared for that you know they're the kid that will always ask why <laughs> and that's i mean that's a good thing but you know even if it's gonna be difficult for the parents to conceive um here we got irene the goddess of peace and there's a baby here oh my god all our readings for today has baby in their card so pile one also got this card so it says here there is no need to worry as everything is working out beautifully so you will have a child you just have to be patient and this is also an abundance card you know you will have as many child as you want um, or maybe just one if you deemed it you know you're satisfied you want to pour attention only to this child and uh, since it has been very difficult for you to you know to be pregnant or your wife um, you're gonna have only one so I don't know I really can't feel anything about the gender and like the first and second pile uh, it's difficult to know here it's a boy but like uh, I don't know <laughs> I can't really feel any feminine or masculine energy so either one maybe I'll have twins because I can feel it okay so we got here the waters maybe your kid likes the ocean we also got here Coventina purification it's all the water so maybe it's a water baby you know those birds they do the labor and delivery on water or maybe your child will take a career that is related to swimming okay it says here purification it is time for a cleansing detoxification of your body and mind so yeah very take care of your health maybe if you're the mother and the father it's important to uh, take care of your health so that you know you won't experience a difficult pregnancy we can avoid that and this words peace and purification like this child would be very wholesome you know very righteous and very you know but it's not like a bad thing it's very refreshing actually that this kid is very you know has a very good nature um it isn't the kind of child who is mean just for the heck of it your child is very kind and you know you're gonna be amazed with the way they think i can tell so maybe also they like the color blue <laughs> you see because it's blue it's blue and there's also the night the night is blue right so from that maybe it's a boy but like i can't really tell maybe just they just like color blue they also have here color blue oh my god it says here love decision high achievers are not necessarily those who make the right decisions but they are those people who make their decisions right oh as i've told you they're very good natured they're kind it's natural it's natural for them you know they're not the bad <laughs> rebellious kid it says here also they accept feedback and self-correct they take in new info and change if necessary they're like the model child you know and you'll be very blessed to have this child because uh, he or she is an achiever also uh, they'll make you proud as in you're gonna see this child make wise decisions even if they're young okay so we got here few messages let's ask for more oh. huh. okay we got here spontaneity is the best kind of adventure 
letter H, V, B, C, S, I, Q. That will be the initials of their name. Also have instinct. I told you they're very instinctual. They're very, you know, their thoughts are really amazing. Like, it's also blue, so I have also explore. They like exploring with uh, books, maybe. They like reading since they're very instinctual and they have a very specific thing that they like. So, yeah, that was your reading, you guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Bye.